Welcome to the inaugural edition of The Watchtower, which is the name I'm going to give to this little video blog that I'm doing um, about the trading card game Versus System. Um, my name is Steve Garrett, um, otherwise known as Kamazar on the um, various forums and uh, communities online. And uh, I'm just going to be here. Um, I'm going to try and do it weekly, but no me, it won't get done weekly. Uh, but every now and then I'm going to try and uh, update you with news information about all things Versus. Um, all stuff that you'll find on the internet anyway, but I'm going to give you my personal opinions, views, what it's worth for those of you that are interested. Um, it's just a bit of fun, um, uh, just another uh, medium um, for enjoying Versus really. Um, we've got uh, great uh, websites like uh, versusystem.com, which I'm lucky enough to write a weekly article for. Um, you can check my uh, weekly column out, uh, One Step Beyond, on Tuesdays there. I've um, got sites like versusrealms.com, which is the premier online uh, community for uh, Versus. Fabulous site, you've got to go check that out. Um, I have my own website for promoting the game within Europe, which is thecamazar.com. Um, also, um, you've got uh, great podcasts um, like The Ring Has Chosen uh, by uh, Clifford Palmado and Squire Kirshner, and uh, that can be found via iTunes, search for The Ring Has Chosen, or it's uh, also posted weekly on Versus Realms. Um, fabulous, fabulous podcast, uh, two hours every week about Versus and uh, um, all the latest happenings, uh, deck of the week, uh, top five, uh, where the card comes from. Um, Clifford ranting about uh, reused art, but um, it's a great show, and I sincerely recommend you checking it out. Also, uh, it's part of the Realms Radio Network, um, and also on that network, um, you've got uh, Battle of the Century, which is uh, um, uh, hosted uh, by Dylan Northrop and uh, Billy Zonos. And uh, it's a comic book show. Um, versus, it's all about comic book characters, so uh, it seems uh, logical to have a comic book show. We've also got um, uh, what well, we've got: Fallout Shelter. Um, um, Paul and Rich, the original podcast guys, um, uh, have been uh, knocking that one out for a long time now, and uh, it's uh, evolved into a general gaming and geekery for want of a better word uh, podcast and uh, you can check that out as well um, full of great stuff um, so what's happening in the world of verses um, well uh, I've just been on a two week holiday uh, in uh, North Wales uh, in the mountains of North Wales um, so I've been out of the out of the loop for a while um, I missed the uh, the coverage of the PC and come back to find that Tommy Ashton uh, won the pro circuit um, congratulations to you, Tommy, um, with uh, a Quicksilver deck that uses 12 characters, I think I'm right in saying 12 characters. Um, a lot of people now are asking, should that kid be banned? Not Ashton, um, uh, Quicksilver, because uh, he is insanely good. He can end you on turn three you know, put the game beyond you on turn three. Personally, I think it would be a bit a bit premature to do that. Yes, um he is um integral to a lot of killer killer decks. Um yes he is very, very powerful. Is he more powerful than he was intended to be? Probably yes. But um, there are ways and means of dealing with him. Um, there are out of combat stuns out there. The question is, um, if the uh, if a card uh, is that powerful that you must tune your deck specifically to beat that one card. Some people say that qualifies as uh, broken, and that calls for the ban. Personally, I don't see it. Um, 
I don't think it's quite Doctor Light Master of Holograms yet. Um, I don't think it's quite there, but it's not far off. You know, I wouldn't want to have to make the call myself, but really, right now, I'm thinking there's enough uh, there's enough uh, uh, room left to deal with him. Um, now, I think we're all right on that one. But um, congratulations uh, to Tommy. Although, from what I can gather, the actual final played out in a little bit of an odd way. Um, from I mean, I may be wrong here. I may be getting my facts wrong, but. It seems that there was a, um, a, a previously arranged prize split between the finalists, between Tommy and, um, I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong, is it Matthew Brochu, Brochu, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it seems like there was a prize split uh, decided before the final and um, Matthew just conceded, picked up his cards, which, you know, if you're going to split prizes then Fair enough, both guys put in a lot of work over the days, um, and uh, I imagine in the build-up to the PC as well, so I guess they're, you know, price split, fine, they get their money out of it. I've not really got a major problem with that, um, but, you know, I would have liked to have seen the game played out, but no one can make them, so that's down to them. But, um, yeah, it was a... a from what I've been reading, um, it was a it sounds like it was a good pro circuit. Um, we uh, there was a couple of uh, British guys over there as well. Um, um, yeah, over here in Britain, we're still supporting the game. Um, we had a few players out there, um, our teammates out there, um, and uh, the uh, ever present Ian Vincent was there um, representing. Um, no, uh, you know, top eight finishes for those guys, but um, you know, it's still nice to see that uh, UK.